What I'm doing now, um, what I've been doing through the years, is promoting the Sharia through peaceful means, you know, um, through speaking about Islam, by speaking about the justice of Islam, and also putting down democracy as a hypocrisy. If someone said, Abdul Hakim, I'm going to join ISIS or, or some other terrorist group, and I'm going to, I'm going to take a SUV and I'm going to run it down Westminster Bridge, would you, would you report them to the police? It's not allowed. It's not allowed. It's not allowed for a Muslim to report on a Muslim. Body. So you wouldn't. It's not allowed in Islam. So that's a no. It's not allowed in Islam. Okay. So first of all, he says I'm promoting Sharia against democracy through peaceful means. And to be fair, to be fair, there he's supposed to do it through peaceful means in the phase when they when they don't have the upper hand, right? So Muhammad himself, when he didn't have the military power. To be able to force up Islam on, on, on uh, people, he did it through peaceful means. So when Muslims tell you that I'm supposed to spread Islam through peaceful means, they are not contradicting Islam. They are correct that they're supposed to spread Islam through peaceful means unless they have the force to do it by force. Unless they have the power to do it by force. So if they say, I have been taught, to Islam, taught by Islam to spread the Sharia law through peaceful means, don't don't tell them like, oh no, you don't understand Islam. Islam teaches you to force Islam upon people. During this phase, when they don't have the power to force it upon you, he's correct. He's supposed to do it through peaceful means, like Muhammad did. It was only after, so the Meccan phase, the Meccan phase of Muhammad, when he didn't have power, he was peaceful. When he had the military power, which is the Madani phase, that's when he used force to force Islam upon people. So you're supposed to force Islam upon people in Islamic countries. Um, and here, if you're the minority, uh, you, could, you could be peaceful, right? However, if you're living in another country, you could be peaceful. But if you're an agent of an Islamic country in a non-Islamic country, because this is Dar al Harb, this is the house of war, then you could be non-peaceful. You could be like according like as this man is saying a terrorist again youtube i'm not endorsing any of these things i'm just explaining these people's teaching and he says i'm i'm going to do my my way is through peaceful means but if somebody is doing violence upon you then i'm not going to snitch on him because you're not supposed to snitch well technically you are supposed to snitch but not on fellow muslims he's he, the full context is that i'm not supposed to snitch on this terrorist trying to take out other uk citizens because he's a fellow muslim brother but if he was an ex-muslim for example if i was a muslim uh, living in this muslim community and i was leaving islam then he is supposed to snitch he is supposed to tell uh, he's supposed to expose me or if i'm like for example if i was gay and he found out that i was gay then yeah he's supposed to snitch um but he's not supposed to snitch on his fellow muslims uh, who are trying to do terrorist activities so amazing how he says i'm supposed to do it spread Sharia through peaceful ways, but at the same time, if somebody is trying to commit violence upon the rest of you, I'm not going to report him to the police because he's my fellow Muslim brother. Um, which is quite telling. Um, saying, make anything that threatens democracy illegal, please. You can't do that because that is that is basically you losing them. You would lose democracy. That would be against democracy. Make the, the again, it's you have to do the hard work. You cannot just legislate your way out of this problem. These are the quick fixes. You know, a lot of you are anti left leaning people, but this is how left leaning people, many left leaning people think. Instead of doing the work, they want daddy government to come fix everything for them. You're not going to make be able to legislate your way out of this toxic virus of Islam. You have to do the hard work. If you say make anything that threatens democracy legal. What well, Islam threatens democracy? Can you make Islam, can you make certain ideas illegal? If you think you can, that is also anti-democratic. That is also against democracy. If you think that I could legislate my way by, by having a thought police, thought policing people, instead of trying to make everything that you don't like illegal, go to battle. You have to go to battle instead of asking daddy government. I mean, I'm not saying the government has no responsibility. The government has to stop immigration from Islamic country. The government has to, for example, within the education system, equip the children with the 
tools to be able to for them to detect the bullshit that is Islam. That's the government's job. But the rest, the rest is your job. The, just like a government has responsibility, the citizens also have responsibility. You, it's, you have the right to keep asking your government to do things, but also ask yourself, what can I do? What can I do? You have to go to battle instead of just asking the government to make everything that you don't like illegal. Okay.